her today. Like, her Hello Sycamore Junior High. Today is the final Tuesday of the school year. In fact, it is the final day of May 2. It is May 31st, 2022. Welcome back from Memorial Day recess and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hanin. Hello all, I'm Ava and happy last Tuesday. After today, we have three more days of school left and this is our second to last episode of the video announcements. Yes, tomorrow is our final regular season episode. Now let's all please stand and place our right hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Alright, if you didn't hear fr Friday, we mentioned that yearbooks will be distributed to all students on Thursday, June 2nd first thing in the morning. If you pre-ordered a yearbook, you will receive it during your first book class on June 2nd. Please note, if you did not order one this year, Mrs. Spielman has some extra yearbooks available for purchase. They are $40, cash or check, written to the Sycamore Junior High. Again, that's extra yearbooks can be purchased from Mrs. Spielman in room 246 until Friday, June 3rd. I can't wait to see this year's yearbook. I hope to have my friends and teachers sign it throughout the day. Oh yeah, I'll need to remember to bring a pen or sharpie for my friends and teachers to sign mine. Next, oh, next over to our national day. Today's national smile day. Smiles are powerful. They not only create engagement between two people, but the more a person smiles, the healthier their brain can be. Smiling has a direct link to our brain and can help reduce stress. Dr. Tim Sternman and Jim Wojdola from Compassionate Dental Care founded National Smile Day in 2018 to share with the world what the power of a healthy smile can do. Confidence, health, and quality of life are just for the person smiling. Wow, that's really interesting. Last Friday's survey asked if you prefer Coke or Pepsi products. Very close, but Coke did end up on top, but I disagree. I prefer Pepsi products. Also, make sure to check out our final daily survey for this year. The results will be shared on the Google Classroom tomorrow, but not on the announcements. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Captain B and Juan He Y. We hope you all have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. This is just a reminder, and we've talked about this before, we have a few yearbooks, all right? We're going to pass out yearbooks will be distributed to all students on June 2nd. 8th grade day, that's the 7th grade and 7th grade movie day. And if you missed the opportunity to purchase this one, we still have a few that you can pick up. All right? Now, again, this doesn't normally happen. They are $40 uh, cash or check written to Sycamore Junior High, and they can be purchased from Mrs. Spielman in room 246 until June 3rd. So get those yearbooks. If you want one, there are a few left. They cost you 40 bucks. All right? Hey, over the summer, remember, check your school email daily so you can get those sports announcements, updates, and all that other stuff. Library books, those need to get in. If you want to go to 8th grade day, you got to have all fines paid. you got to have books returned to the library. Get those in. And finally, attention all boys and girls tennis players. There will be a meeting for all 7th and 8th grade boys and girls tennis players, including those who did not play on the school teams, Wednesday during flex spell in the cafeteria. Coach Teets, oh, excuse me, four-time state champion, Coach Teets, congratulations, Coach Teets, will be discussing several items. All 7th and 8th grade boys tennis players should attend this meeting. And again, that will be tomorrow, Wednesday, during Flex Bell with four-time state champion, Coach Teets. Congratulations again. Very proud of what you've done. All right. Uh, that's all for me. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. We're here with Mr. Labricone. And, okay, so one of the first questions we have for you is, what was your favorite memory from this year? Well, I actually have two favorite memories, and we'll go in chronological order. Well, my first favorite memories is actually when we got back from winter break, and I really got to see the construction on the new building. Second favorite memory actually was just last Friday at the fun -a -thon. Um, And how did you feel about the eighth grade graders leaving the junior high? Uh, two things. One, I wish them the best of luck at the high school. It's a great building and a great time. And then also a bit nostalgic as I think about my time as an eighth grader and moving to the high school 
and what an exciting time that was um, many, many, many years ago. <laughs> All right. Um, and what advice do you have for upcoming eighth graders? So for the upcoming eighth graders, you know, seventh graders now moving into eighth grade, like, here we go. You're getting one year closer to high school. High school, high school is the game. That's when it counts. And so really focus on you. And same thing, don't choose to do something because your group of friends are doing it. Do something that you're interested in, that fills your cup up, that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. uh, focus on you because that's going to be better and more positive impact throughout the year. Okay. Um, and any advice for incoming freshmen? I, it's for incoming freshmen, but it's probably for all students too, is that learn to prioritize and time management. That's a great one. Um, and then a little bonus question. What message would you like to share with everybody in this building, staff and students? So I think that one thing that everybody can learn from the pandemic and coming out of it, that's super important, at least to me, I'm just one voice, I'm just one person, the more empathy that you can have for other people, and that is just understanding where people are coming from and their experiences and walking in their shoes, the better. So as you know, you transition from seventh to eighth, eighth to ninth, and then eventually graduating high school, the more empathy you can have for other people and their situations, their experiences, I think the better off you're going to be. Um, and even if it's, you don't have to have, you know, 100% empathy or a million degrees of empathy. But if you just have a little bit, it's going to put you in a little better spot. Yeah, I think that's a great um, piece of advice. All right, so that was my interview with... Mr. Labricombe. And I'm Cece, and that's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. What's for lunch today? For lunch, we'll have Cincy Chili Cheese Spaghetti. We'll also serve conies. Summer, here we come. Yeah, a little. I've already been going to the pool the past couple days. Same. Now for the joke of the day. Why did the invisible man turn down the job offer? I don't know why. He couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go Aves. Aves.